Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to talk to you about uh, a troubleshooting application. It's due to a problem that I get calls on from the field, and I can give you a corrective action for it. It's pretty straightforward. But the problem at hand is, what do I do when I have water coming out of the weep hole of the cover of the relief valve of a 975 XL2? Well, first and foremost, let me give you a little indication why that hole's there. Internally, within the relief valve cover, we have a plunger that slides in there. And the hole allows that plunger to slide without pulling a vacuum. In other words, without the hole there, if we push the plunger into the cover and we tried to stroke that plunger, it couldn't do so because it would be trapped. It would uh, have, be trying to pull a vacuum. So that little hole allows air to move in so that that plunger can slide freely. But there's an additional reason to have that hole, and that is that both sides of this relief valve have to be perfectly in balance. So in other words, when the relief valve strokes closed, I have a certain amount of the seed area that's exposed to atmosphere. Conversely, I have to have the same amount on the other side of the valve. So there's a valid reason for having that weep hole there. But periodically, again, I will get a call whereby a customer tells me that water's shooting out of that hole, and obviously it should not be. So typically the cause of that, I'll go ahead and pull off this cover and get the plunger out and let you see. Usually the cause of that is the O-ring on the plunger has become deteriorated. Now here's my diaphragm assembly, and we'll pull some close-ups to let you see this, but on this plunger I have an O-ring. And over the course of time, just like any rubber that's exposed to water, that O-ring can crack and become deteriorated. Well, when it does so, the water simply leaks right by it, and it will come out of the hole, the weep hole on that cover. So in that case, the proper corrective action is to simply change the O-ring. Generally speaking, if you have a bad O-ring on that plunger, you can fairly assume that most of the rubber in the valve is going to need to be replaced also. So therefore, I would encourage you to get a rubber repair kit when you do replace that and replace all the rubber. But there's another potential problem that could happen, and that is pitting within the cover itself. We can get pitting of the bronze, or we can also build up some calcification in there. And that, when, when that occurs, as this plunger tries to slide in there, it's sliding over those pits and voids or that calcification, and that allows the water to leak right on by. So in that case where we're dealing with any form of light pitting or calcification within the plunger, we simply want to take some light emery cloth or some fine Scotch-Brite and get in there and polish that out and get it nice and smooth again. Now, don't be overzealous with it. We don't want to drill out a bunch of material. There's a real light squeeze on this O-ring because it's a dynamic seal. In other words, it has to move, so we don't want a lot of squeeze on that. So again, if we take out too much material, we're going to have a leak right on through the valve, and in that case, the cover would have to be replaced. But in those cases where we have calcification built up, we want to just lightly clean that out. Or if there's some light pitting, also clean it out. Put some emery on your index finger or a piece of Scotch-Brite and get in there and clean it up. Between replacing that O-ring and cleaning out that uh, cover, that should stop any of the water from coming out of the weep hole. Now, as we always tell you, if you have more questions about this, certainly feel free to give us a call here at Zern Wilkins. We're here to help you. Uh, we can give you guidance. We can direct you to where you can pick up repair kits. Basically, answer any question that you may have. So don't hesitate to call us if you do need help.